Hey, here's a little SG90 servo. I need to turn it into a bi-directional motor for a little 3D printed bobcat project for my son. Pretty much just open it up, disable the potentiometer in a neutral position, and that will work as a forward and reverse motor. Need a servo tester, a beck, a battery, some clippers, or a knife, screwdriver, and obviously super glue. There's loads of different methods for doing this, but this is one I prefer. Um, it's quite straightforward. Make sure the servo was good. These servos, um, they're lofty ambition, and they are clones of the Tower Pro SG90 um, clones. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can separate down here, get to the actual motor and the logic board on it, but all we need to do is get into the top um, half of it here. Okay, the motor's on this side, and the potentiometer's under this step, so... Oh, this is a bit of a weird one. So if I apply power to this now, and the servo's in the neutral position on the neutral switch, or the servo tester, we should be able to manipulate this. Okay, well that's going to be really easy. These are different from the usual SG Nighters I do. I've already done one of these ones. These are actually the Tower Pro clones, uh, but they are Tower Pro branded and they've got four screws in the bottom. They have like an E-clip on the shaft uh, of a potentiometer. It might, we might be better pulling this out. Ok while well that's setting up I haven't got any kicker sadly, so it's just a waiting game, I don't know if you can see this tab here, that stops it doing more than sort of 90 degrees in either um, side left or right, um, so that's got to come off because I want it to go round and round and round. And we're also going to need to take this keyed bit off. That should be perfect. A hip. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that until it's cured. Okay, I think that's set up enough. So I'm just going to put it back together now and hope for the best. Stick a servo horn on just for the sake of it. So automatic. We'll Pole 1000 to 2000 microseconds. Neutral. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. Just for the sake of being comprehensive, one servo on each side will be the drive for the tracked wheels and then a servo at the top for the arms that do the work. I think it has um, interchangeable like um, snow plough, pallet, uh, forks, um, what else is in here? Oh yeah, little um, uh, like a digger's bucket. I think this was designed for smaller servos but this is the remix but be a, I'll do a little video on this. Um, but in essence, it's just going to be a Elevon mixed um, drive train, you know, tank style. Bi-directional servos will provide all the drive. Hope this has helped. Catch you later. See you later, camera.
Hier, Valley. Hey.